Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with the collection. Okay, extra trigger, negative emotions, I'm upset. Some of y'all could be feeling a little trigger right now. Is everything all right? <laughs> everything all right? No, you are all on left. Did y'all see that video of that lady making that joke? I ain't gonna lie, I would have been screaming to the top of my life. you're all all right no you are all all left why would you go in front of a lot of people making that joke i ain't gonna lie she would have got the laugh out of me that damn day i would have squealed to the top of my lungs and i wouldn't have had to force it because i don't know shit maybe i like corny jokes but really it's more so because of the fact that you got your ass up in front of everybody <laughs> never mind <laughs> so anyways like yeah somebody could be feeling some extra trigger negative emotions um don't gotta be y'all because somebody could be feeling this way towards y'all but it says the situation is being handled. Um, it says the situation is being handled. Don't try to take things into your own hands. So somebody could need to hear that. Like you could need to know that. Don't try to take things into your own hands. Being handled could have to do with like a new love or something. Um, yeah, something could have really upset y'all. <laughs> you like, oh, well, I'm here. I want revenge. Like what? <laughs> crazy ex. It could have had something to do with somebody's crazy ex. We got coming to rescue you. Um, so I don't know, y'all. Y'all got a lot going on already. So y'all could have a crazy ex that um don't want to leave y'all alone, but you got somebody else, new love that wants to come in and rescue you, um from this crazy ex or I don't know, but somebody definitely feeling triggered. It could be somebody who's triggered because they know you got new love coming in. But we got workplace drama. Yeah, somebody could be getting triggered by like their workplace. Maybe somewhere you work, it triggers you. Like it's not a healthy environment, baby. Take it from me. You better leave. That should have had your ass going home miserable every day. You don't deserve that. Mm -mm. It says they feel you get special treatment. They're jealous of you. Okay. So somebody in your workplace could feel like you get special treatment from like the boss or like other coworkers or just people just in general, maybe in whatever line of work that you do. I don't know. You can read tarot. Other people feel like other, other people like you better than them. Like you're a better reader than them or you just feel like people fuck with you better than them. I don't know. Somebody's just jealous of you. Okay. Because of your results, because of the treatment that you get from others. You have unlocked potential and it says you're more powerful than you know. You're definitely somebody who I feel like your light has awakened. Um or sparked something within somebody you left this person forever changed be careful you definitely somebody could have been leading y'all on or trying to so that could have even been what was making you feel triggered because this person has nothing to offer you it said they literally have nothing to fucking offer and this person was leading you on no one ain't got two nickels to rub together somebody feels like you look different now definitely getting like glow up vibes you could have went through like a change since you last seen this person or these people and um you look so different now Yeah, the work over there. Um, so that's just like my like my high priestess card. Yeah, your intuition could be telling you that somebody is like afraid of rejection. It says please please don't reject me, reject me. Or somebody's like um, your intuition is just very powerful right now. But somebody's definitely scared of rejection, and your intuition could have also told you that somebody has shit to offer. Mm, yeah, nothing to offer you. You could be very intuitive yourself. Um, yeah, focusing more on your goals and aspirations is where you're at. It says changes coming in love, unconditional love. Like you're gonna meet this unconditional lover, a lover who loves you unconditionally. Um, and this could be what's triggering somebody. Yeah, it says the love is pulling on both your heartstrings. That's what it is. This is what's triggering somebody because I feel like they know deep down that you got somebody that's coming in that's gonna like change the way you view love or the way you've experienced love before. And, and you and this person can already know each other, or maybe not, but it says the, the love is pulling on your heartstrings. So it's just giving like you're being pulled together. And I drew like the red thread of fate on here. So it's kind of like, you know how they say like that red thread of fate, two people or the people that are meant to be together, that thread follows them for like lifetime. So and then it never can be broken. So this is somebody that you're fated to like be with. Um, it says, don't feel sorry for them. They ain't give a fuck with them shoe. <laughs> so, yeah, somebody's going to be getting, like, some karma. Yeah, well, underneath that is the snake card. So, somebody was a snake in y'all's energy. And, um, so it's like, when this person starts getting karma, which you will see, it's going to be very evident. You better not feel sorry for this person because when it was you, when you was going through shit and you was telling this person about it or they just saw you going through shit, baby, they thought it was funny. They thought it was, uh, they ain't they think too much of it. They ain't, you think they would have... They ain't send you a prayer or nothing. They wouldn't have put you water on your goddamn. If you were in a fire, they wouldn't have spit on you and shit to help you out a little bit. They, this person would have watched you, okay? So you need to watch them the same way they was going to watch you, okay? Send them a little prayer if you want to. Some of y'all got, got good hearts like that. Go ahead, send them a little prayer if you want to. But other than that, 
sink or sink or fucking drown, nigga. And this person finna drown. So somebody could want to get you pregnant. Who wants to get you pregnant? But I, I do feel like it's this new love. They gonna want to come in and kind of like, damn, y'all be need to be careful. Um, somebody may ask and like they they come in. Um, anyways, with divine masculine, literally, this is your a god like energy. This is your divine masculine that's gonna come in and want to get you pregnant because they want to like give you their. I'm hearing like their seed, like they want to like pass that divine energy onto you. This person is very fertile too. I ain't gonna lie, like, I'm seeing exactly how source is giving it to me. <laughs> Anyway, so if somebody's watching your snap score go up. This could be this divine masculine. If y'all have them on snap, they've been watching you. Like somebody's ready to take this leap of faith towards you. Though. For me, y'all, it is your masculine. Um, this person's gonna have a lot of unconditional love for you, and the both of y'all like y'all could feel like the pull towards each other. Like I said, even if you don't know this person, like y'all just feel that something is destined or a lover is close or something like that. You know, I do feel like I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't know what. It's each other. It says, raise your vibration and shift your focus, your reality, and what you feel is shifting. So, yeah, some of y'all are like, or will shift. The more you raise your vibration, the more your reality is changing, um, are shifting. Somebody could have found out that a masculine still loves you, it says, through a reading. It says, found out he still loves you through a reading. So, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, To be honest, too, in my, one of my last readings, if I even post that one first, it was kind of speaking on how somebody got a reading on somebody and they were getting like false readings. Then one of the readers told them how like somebody is the one or the real deal. So somebody, this could have, that could have been about love. Like somebody could have been telling this person like, oh, you're the karmic. You weren't the one. You were the blah, blah, blah. Then all of a sudden they got a reading where this reader told this person like, actually, no, your divine masculine is supposed to be, I mean, the, the, the divine masculine because it had to be the karmic getting the readings. Like no, um. The divine masculine is actually supposed to be with her. She's actually the real divine feminine in this in this uh, situation. You're actually the karmic, or you're act, that's the one he's supposed to be with. That's the one he's still in love with, low key. Even though he's with you, coming home to you every day, or being with you on a side, that's the one he actually his heart is with that person. Mm. And guess what's underneath that? They feel that you're better than them. And this is why this person doesn't like you. They feel like you get special treatment from this person or whoever. They feel like you're better than them because literally somebody could have found out through a reading, whether it's from YouTube readings or a personal reading that they booked, that somebody, they found out whoever that they're with or they're interested in is still literally thinking about you and love with you, obsessed with you, never got you out their mind or heart. That's why the love is still pulling on the both of y'all heartstrings. But um, literally, it says they feel that you're better than them with lesbian love. Now, this came out my last reading, too. So, I could be speaking for, like, the same sex. This could have been some same sex shit that um, maybe you met this person at work. This could have caused a lot of drama. Or there was, like, I don't know. Just know that uh, somebody was feeling like you was getting a lot of special treatment. And they could have tried to cause a lot of, like, discord between you and somebody on purpose. Um, because they knew how this person felt about you. Or they knew how you both felt about each other. But the both of y'all still, like, low-key. The both of y'all still want this. I'm going to tell y'all right now especially confirmation if y'all were like same sex whether rather two women or two men or i'm just getting on um, literally i just cut the deck at a reader told them you are the one divine feminine so or divine masculine somebody was going to get readers on you or something like that or maybe like i said a youtube reading where somebody was like no that's the real divine feminine and, and that person that you're with or that person that you want and you wonder why they acting different it's because they still in love with this person or they they are in love with them they're in love with someone else i'm here you're the one that this person is in love with secretly or not so secretly whatever the case may be i don't know and you're definitely giving like same sex for somebody here like um you got somebody who secretly they've been in love with you the entire time i'm here and you felt the same way you felt the same way because i'm not getting this is somebody who's like oh they they they, they stabbed you in the back and they was a snake like so again don't feel bad when he's look jealous friends so you're like yeah for some of y'all this we're jealous people and this is not the person who is in love with you this is not that jealous friend energy this is somebody who I do feel like um, they could be, because I saw that card as well. It was talking about how they were being strategic with how they're coming towards you as well. I'm not sure if it came out, but um, they came out of my last reading. So they was talking about two days. Like they got people watching them or people who possibly don't want to see them with you, see them moving forward or maybe a karmic ex on their end. Snakes that's around them, fake ass friends that's around them. Um, but it, this card came out, it says a karmic reader or practitioner uses their gifts in the worst way for the wrong reasons. Like I said, all that energy of fake readings coming up. If somebody don't know what the fuck they're doing, they was giving this person possibly just taking their money, um, giving them false readings about you. But I'm telling y'all, somebody, a, a real reader must have gave this person a 411 or the T when it came to you. Especially if this was like a jealous friend or somebody who wanted what you had, wanted your lover, wanted your counterpart. Because it was even at the bottom of this deck, I wasn't gonna pull it out. But since we already was talking about a karmic reader or practitioner, it was talking about how um, where's where's it? They tried to do spell work towards your beauty. 
So somebody could have definitely been trying to like use spell words to like affect your beauty, affect somebody from seeing you the certain way, or people thinking you're beautiful. But yes, me and y'all got like a lover who, or somebody who, um, They never stopped loving you. I'm getting the sense that a karmic knows this now as well. They didn't know before. They know now. If they thought that they were like the real divine feminine or masculine, they went and got a reading or they watched a certain reading. I'm here like on YouTube that was too spot on to the point where they knew like, yeah, I'm, this is not my person or that this person actually does love this person or they actually do have feelings for this person with heart chakra here. Like they actually love this person. Like you help to heal this person's heart chakra and little do you know, guess what's here? Your boss wants you. For some of y'all with this workplace drama card, this is what it was. Y'all don't even know why Susie was sitting there treating your ass weird and Wendy ass over there acting weird, princess acting weird today and shit. It's cause they knew that your, the boss, the one that they all trying to impress, this person wanted you. And it could have been like, maybe they were making excuses for you. Like, I ain't gonna lie, for some of y'all, y'all kind of had a boss that let, used to let you just you do what you want. Like, you just do what you want to do. Like, you was you was kind of chilling because this person liked you. Like, 11-11 all the time, or if that ain't confirmation, <laughs> shit that you would be able to get away with. I'm here, other coworkers wasn't. So, they, of course, they was in there, like, sending your ass a stank face and sending your ass, you know what I'm saying? Like, weird-ass energy. Um, Because they knew that you was getting, like, I ain't gonna lie, it, it was, it's giving, like, special treatment. It's giving, like, pretty privilege. <laughs> and somebody could have known, like, your boss wanted you or something like that. And they was creating, like, a lot of drama in a workplace for you. I ain't gonna lie. It says, I know you don't view me the same. So somebody could feel like you don't view them the same. Um, Like, that's your opinion on them change or your perspective. But I'm definitely getting, like, if some of y'all, yeah, like, this is, like, a boss or somebody who, like, you worked for or sits in a powerful position with solar plexus, like, um... Some of y'all, something about your confidence, like your confidence is turning people on or. It's your self-esteem and self-confidence is being built. Something about a health check, problems that can be fixed and healed. Somebody needs to go get a health check so somebody could die. I don't know, but I won't go back to nobody from the past too. I'm here and like they could have like a health, something about their health. Um, you're exactly where you're meant to be. Don't doubt the process. It says an earth sign is coming towards you. Mm. It's crazy how these energies be like kind of steady being confirmed, especially like from the last reading and shit like that. This could be like a continuation, but you definitely have like a Capricorn towards Virgo coming towards some of you. Um, I'm feeling like this could be the person who who um, secretly is in love with you. I do want to kind of see. Source is wanting some of y'all to use your use a headscarf, use uh, cover your head, your crown chakra. You could be experiencing like spiritual attacks or especially if you do some form of divination or spiritual work. Somebody could be like trans, transgender. But no, I, whoever this earth sign is, they are the one who is in love with you for some of you. Not everybody don't got an earth sign coming in, but someone has a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo that has been secretly in love with them for a while now. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, and it says, I am so, because I am blank. So I, it's, I, somebody is really so in love with you. Like almost like they have to hold themselves back. With good karma this is a part of your good karma um everything comes full circle so again with that full circle energy this could be something that's coming back around that you thought you missed out on that you thought wasn't for you or opportunity um it says watching too many readings is confusing you so some of y'all need to slow down on readings if you're confused about like what's for you who's for you but i don't get that that was for you if i'm being honest i heard like that was for the karma because the karma was the ones watching all the readings or getting hella readings trying to put two and two together collaborating with others to try to end you but they're all going to be sharing the same karma why you're getting good <laughs> so yeah for some of y'all you do have this heavy earth sign coming towards you um to kind of like confess their love for you or some of y'all may already know this with this third eye energy because so far we got the heart chakra solar plexus and third eye so if somebody here is like you're becoming more confident the way you self your self-expression your self ex uh esteem your heart chakra is opening up and you're also like it's like you're helping somebody else's to heal their heart chakra or there's a lot of love here that both of you guys could be feeling like intuitively or guided towards each other with this third eye energy yeah somebody could be healing a lot of like sexual traumas i'm gonna take these somebody could be healing like okay so with um self-made you could definitely go into this energy of like being self-made doing something for yourself you're very independent it's kind of like what my last reading was talking about as well like um you're building some form of like a healthy stable foundation for yourself where you're building nothing or something from nothing so somebody could definitely be aligning with like a twin flame energy here or that's why it says like this love is pulling on the both of y'all heartstrings and you know when the twin flame connection too you can't where's that called it and the twin flame connection you can't cut the cord with that either like y'all are just 
together. I'm not saying y'all have to be together in the physical, but y'all share a soul or, you know, that bond spiritually that cannot be cut. So somebody's definitely like healing a lot of sexual traumas that could have happened to them in the past or just things that you've gone through before this love can come in or as this love is coming in. They could help you to do this. They could be helping you to like heal a lot. Again, would be my passenger princess. Like somebody really, they could have told you this before. They want you to be their passenger princess now if they haven't told you. <laughs> and um yeah I gotta be careful though because some of y'all do have like a crazy ex or this person has a crazy ex so you might have to like, you ain't gonna have to deal with it but it's like this person may have somebody in their energy that's crazy that's like still not done with like it, not over them I'm gonna say that because they're done with this person but they don't have to mean that that person is done with them and watch how it's confirmed being strategic with how I come towards you because people in the karmics are watching me. Is it not being confirmed? As I was just saying that shit. <laughs> and this is somebody who's going to put you on a pedestal. But yeah, I ain't going to lie to y'all. This person does have karmic energies heavily on them with this crazy ex. Somebody has like a crazy ex. And they're they not trying to be, they trying to be wise about it. Like they're trying to be smart with it on um, how they come in towards you. With you're about to live a lavish lifestyle. You and this person are meant to live a lavish lifestyle together. But this person is being careful. Because for some of y'all, y'all person could be even in a public eye too. Because now I'm kind of relating it to the, like the last written or one of y'all could be. But somebody don't want too many people to know what they got going on. They got karmics watching them. Okay, so y'all got to be careful with them. Yeah, saying that you've been crowned here. So some of y'all are going to be realizing like you've been spiritually like crowned. Somebody could work in like the healthcare field. This also came out on my last reading. So maybe I should have. Somebody's initials could be C-Q-U-O-A-F-H-I-S-V-W. We got C-Q-U-O-A-F-H-I-S-V-W. So again, this could be the person who wants to come in to rescue you. They feel like they're your knight in shining armor. We got a failed destiny swap. This could be somebody who has these initials who wants to swap destinies with you. Could be your initials. But somebody could definitely work in the healthcare field. Divine feminine. Somebody loves your shadow side, it says here. Somebody really loves your shadow side. It says, become so focused on your goals, dreams, healing, and path that you see no one else but you. And that's what's going to call in your this love for you. That's what's going to call in like a lot of blessings for you, okay? Um, because you're going to be so focused on you and nobody else, okay? It says, I'm so possessive and jealous over you. And I don't get that in a bad way. I feel like this new lover dance, baby, they're going to want you. I want you all to myself, I swear. You don't need nobody else, I swear. Like, this person going to want to, like, they're not going to play about you. Like, they, they, they do got a certain level of possessiveness when it comes to you. But it's not, like, it's not, like, dangerous possession as in, like, oh, my God, call the police and get a restraining order on that person yeah with lover homie friend unbreakable bond coming out that's how it's gonna be like this is like a lover homie friend that bond is gonna be so unbreakable but yes they know they know a rare gem when they see one so of course they're gonna be possessive of you because they know you hard to find they know you real like divine feminine god it's hard to find real fucking fine red wine <laughs> somebody know you really hard to come out okay but let's have a fresh start this person wants to start over and they're wondering or would you be willing to have a fresh start with them. Would you be willing to? And I'm feeling like, hell yeah. Like, and that ain't for everybody because I know y'all be in the comments like, hell no, I don't want nobody from the past. But I'm telling you, like, this giving, twin flame, the love still pulling on y'all heartstrings. This is a story that's not over yet. This is giving, like, unfinished business between twins or, like, two counterparts. For those of you who want this, with a lover, homie, friend, an unbreakable bond. For some of y'all, this could be an entirely new person. You take what resonates. If you feel like you don't want nobody from the past, and goddamn it, don't accept nobody from the past, there will always be a new lover, okay? But some of y'all, yeah, somebody is wanting to have a fresh start with you, and they're wondering, you know, left on scene, would you be willing to? I don't know. Some of y'all might be leaving this person on scene. Damn, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> some of y'all might be leaving this person on scene, but I feel like they're really hoping you don't. They're really, okay, no, with the third party interference, somebody could be leaving a third party on scene, actually. Because mm. I'm like, damn, like, shit, I don't know what I was feeling and the energy that I was getting, but some of y'all might be leaving it. You might not be interested, but others of you, maybe it's because they had a third party and you like, no, why would I want to reconnect with you and you already showed me your true colors, the fuck? Okay. So then, yeah, use discernment, but others of you, it could have been a third party interference and it's like, they're now cutting this person off or leaving them on scene. That's their karma. Yeah, karmic masculine. Could have been a karmic masculine that somebody was like, um, especially, I don't know, yeah. Somebody could have definitely had like a karmic masculine in their energy that they're now going to be leaving on scene. But they're still holding on to you. It says, after all this time, I still think of and want you. I never let you go. I love you. Come on now. All these damn cards and everything that I'm saying is being confirmed. Somebody has never let you go. They, they've been wanting this fresh start since damn near... 
It ended. <laughs> So yeah, it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one on the timer. So somebody, something that's happening in divine timing, okay? Somebody really wonders if you would be willing to have a fresh start with them. It could definitely be a karmic masculine getting left out in the cold. Yeah, somebody could have had a lot of options, many options, or you wouldn't be the one now having like a lot of options. Somebody was definitely trying to use you for sex. I feel like this is that karmic masculine or somebody was definitely like, they had a lot of options. They was using you for sex or they was trying to. Um, try to backdoor you, yeah, yeah. You have to get this motherfucker out your energy. Um, that could have been a person who's like trying to lead you on again. It says an earth sign is watching you, so some of y'all got an earth sign watching you, and that's going to come towards you. Heavy earth, you see, that's the only sign that came out here earth sign watching you, and earth sign coming towards you, Capricorn towards Virgo. Somebody's being told that don't believe everything you hear mm -mm. because it could be some lies, or this person who was trying to like maybe they were very deceptive that was leading you on. You need to really use discernment or. Somebody could have been getting lied to about you. Because now we got a fire sign that's coming towards you. So somebody got a fire sign coming towards them and an earth sign coming towards them. Capricorn towards Virgo, Aries Leo Sag. Capricorn towards Virgo, Aries Leo Sag. So yeah. Fast movement, quick sudden shifts and changes. So yeah, y'all could be expecting like communication from like an earth sign or a fire sign really quick. I'm also getting like fast things changing in your reality too. Uh, with rare gifts like your rare gifts are opening new doors for you your talents it says any moment now so any moment now you're going to be receiving communication or from this person and for some of y'all any moment now like these rare gifts that's what's opening up for you talents that you wasn't even aware that you had these changes coming in for you people wanting to connect to you because it says having many options makes me feel better about myself that's why that came out like that with many options and using you for sex. So somebody's very insecure here and they could have had a lot of options, put you in third parties because they're insecure and it made them feel better about themselves even if they had the prize. Like, you were the prize, but this person still, they would have never been satisfied because they are insecure with themselves. Yeah, anyways, but you have real gifts um, and sudden changes and quick things, broke as hell. This is somebody who don't even have no fucking money and you got the nerve to be sitting out here trying to play in people's face with different options and how do you got these many options and you're broke as hell? They don't want a burger or anything. With physical or spiritual jail. So whoever this broke ass person is who had many options putting you in third parties and was sitting here leading you on, trying to use you for sex and your resources or whatever, this person going to jail, either physically or spiritually. So Source got something for that ass. <laughs> it says you don't feel right with them because you're, it says you don't feel right with them because you're meant for someone else. Ooh, T piping hot today some of y'all already with somebody some of y'all could be with somebody right now and that's not your person and you'll be looking at them sometimes with a little side eye why do i always feel anxious around this person why i never catch them doing nothing i don't have solid proof but i feel something that ain't your person that's why I ain't gonna go goddamn person that's not your person your person you and your person are feeling like these pulls on your heartstrings somebody's person could be down south or you could live down south but that ain't your person the person that you was thinking about that ain't your person as a matter of fact, I'm hearing like whoever you thought was your person, they're karmic. <laughs> so, let's talk about it. They want to invest in you. You got your real person that's actually going to want to invest in you the right way. <sighs> Let me read this to you. Coming to snatch you out of that toxic relationship. Some of y'all, you still in that karmic relationship. And what you don't know is your person already watching you and they finna come snatch your ass. Or they, they don't know you yet, but when they know you and you could meet them and be like, oh, I'm already in a relationship. They finna snatch you. And I'm sorry, this might not be the right way to go about this, but baby, somebody's finna come in and wanna invest in you the right way. And they already know that you could be in something toxic or that's not good for you. That they just feel like you're, the person that you're with is don't deserve you. I'm hearing. They feel like they don't deserve you. They don't know what to do with you. Somebody could have been, it says I was quiet because I was afraid of messing things up. If somebody came in and they just wasn't like applying pressure or maybe they were quiet and maybe they didn't, you like, why they not shooting a shot? This person didn't wanna be rejected or they don't wanna mess things up with you. Especially if you was kind of like in a relationship and they didn't know what to do about that. They didn't know what to say. They was like, okay, this person, what am I going to do? Like, I ain't going to tell them, like, drop that person. But I'm feeling like somebody now, they... Someone put them in their place on your behalf, stood up for you. Wow. So somebody could know that this person is karmic ex or this person that you could be with now. And it could be like, 
doing you wrong, talking shit, hurting you in whatever way, shape, or form. And somebody put this person in their place. And this could be the person who wants you for themselves. Little do you know. They could have been bragging to like a friend about how they be doing you or things that they did behind the scenes. Oh, I got many options. And they like, damn, how you? why would you put this person in a... Look at that person and look at you. I'm hearing somebody's friend was like dead ass honest with them or like a family member or somebody who should have been... I ain't gonna say should have been on their side because right is right, wrong is wrong, but they would expect this person to be on their side because they knew them longer, they're closer to them. Mm -mm. This person put them in their place with sizing you up. Like this person be... Mm -mm. This person... They don't, it, this person not going to play about you. And whoever this person is, they could see the way that this person was doing you. Whether it was like a fake ass friend, a fake lover, a fake family member. And somebody was putting this person with dog here. They know that this person was doggish towards you, behind your back, whether you know it or not. And I'm telling you, it's somebody who be in their ear that, that be telling them like, no, you dare wrong for that. Like, you know you wrong for that. Like, you wrong for gaslighting this person when they be telling you they, they feel that you doing something even though they don't got proof about it. You know that you, they feeling that shit because you doing it. Like, I'm hearing somebody be like telling this person or like, it could have been something where somebody was lying on you and making it seem like, oh, you not who you say you are. You not even all that. And this person's like, no, you know that person beautiful. You just hating right now. Or you just, you lying. That person ain't out here doing that. You you just hating on that person because they pretty. Or you just, uh, you said that person was broke. But whole time this person damn to got more than, more, than, more than you. Where your shit at? Like, it's something about this person like, with two faced and can't be trusted. Like I said, this person is a karma. They're fucking karma. And somebody who be around them kind of know that. Like you, we we know we damn near can't even trust your ass because we know you be scamming and shit. We know you a liar. We know you damn near did that to your last three girlfriends. Or like they don't trust this person, even though this person be trying to make it seem like you the bad person or, or why you turn your location off. You could have shared locations with this person at one point. Like baby, they was sizing you up. And if somebody put them on that place when it came to you, and this could be very well be. I'm telling y'all, for some of y'all, the person who wants to be with you themselves. we touching myself, thinking of you. Somebody really be like, I'm hearing like this other person is really, really, really attracted to you. Like, they are. It could definitely be like a legal situation that somebody's going to be going through where they're experiencing many different losses. Like, it's going to be affecting like a lot of shit in their life. Um, with hooking up with strangers, this is somebody who's doing a lot of strange ass shit that you did not know about. They had like, a, I'm hearing my strange addiction. Um, healing hands, you are a healer. And this person could have wanted to stay in your energy because they knew that you were a healer, but they were using you for sex too because it's like, this one could have a sex addiction. Like, with hooking up with strangers and shit. This not over until I say so. You belong to me. I'm not playing. Somebody feel like you not, they, that could be the crazy ass. They, you not done with them until they say so. But it's like, who the hell is you? The old new person could come in and show them a little something. Don't ignore the red flag. So yeah. It, yeah, it's trying to keep them away from you, but their love runs too deep. Like somebody could have been trying to, like I said, somebody gonna put this person in their place eventually. Even if they was kind of letting it slide, like, no, why am I holding myself back for this motherfucker? Like, what the hell? What I really want. Um, somebody definitely was trying to keep somebody else from coming towards you, but this other person who wants to come towards you, and I'm getting heavy, they could be connected to this person that you are either in con contact with now or like an ex of yours. It's like somebody knows you and they want you for themselves, but ghosted. Like, yeah, I don't know if somebody ghosted you or. It says, I cut off others for an ego boost. Like, yeah, you could have got ghosted by this person. And they did it to, like, boost their own ego. And they could have went around, like, a friend group or people trying to make it seem like they did they big one by cutting you off. Whole time, while they sitting there bragging, there's somebody in the corner and they cut one of their friends. Like, damn, like, I'm glad you ain't really, I'm glad you ghosted them. Because now more for me. Like, now I'm finna go in and shoot my shot with this person. Or now I see the way you've been treated. Now I know the blueprint. Now I know how to play it to get this person. Not play it, but I know how to play my cards right. So that anything that you was falling short on, like, I'm finna show this person, like, yeah, I'm different. Like, what are you talking about? With metamorphosis, this is gonna be a change it says you don't get the same results because you're favored like you're gonna go through a change that these people or this person wants your man or woman what what, what am i sitting here saying like these people somebody could have wanted your man or your woman but i'm like i'm telling y'all with the way i'm reading this somebody that was bragging um again like this this could have been like an ex of yours a karmic ex a karmic friend about how they were doing you especially if this is like a karmic ex or somebody that you're with now you know like they ain't really your person or they kind of be like you know it's you trying to gain the strength to leave them or listen to your guidance on leaving this person you know you've been getting signs you know what you feel you've been ignoring the red flags baby somebody that's around them wants you they know that too they want you they want you for themselves and this could be why this person is very controlling or trying to like with bad karma you get what you give like somebody could be trying to hack y'all and this could even been somebody who was trying to like um, steal your, your jealous friend here. It was a jealous friend for some of y'all that was in the mix of this or that was doing this. That was trying to deter somebody from coming towards you. Like you just, you could have thought y'all all was cool. And this person over here is telling somebody else some bogus ass shit about you, whether it's true or not. Which I'm getting many of y'all, it was not true. That's why this person going to be putting this person in their fucking place. We have an earth sign and a fire sign come out. So it could be an earth sign putting somebody in their place or a fire sign putting somebody in their place about you. And this person is still holding on to you. They've never let you go. 
it was like all that work all that all that work and what did it get me is what i'm here <laughs> again with this reading we'll expose everything with new love so some of y'all gonna be getting new love um this came out of my last reading too so um ace of cups <laughs> yes somebody's gonna be walking into new love despite everything that this person was trying to do um i've never felt this way for anyone else before like you and this person are going to be creating new levels of love with each other new ways of experiencing love in each other i'm hearing like opening each other's up to something opening, opening each other's worlds up to new things if i can't have you nobody will okay well that's giving uh, it says your mind it's giving very possessive i don't know if that's a crazy ex or like the but it's giving like both like i ain't gonna lie you got somebody who's still coming in over you who's going to be very protective and possessive because y'all do have somebody crazy you or them in your energy but um it says it's your destiny it's, it's destined for this love to come together Somebody could be meeting a lover at a concert, met at a, met at a concert, or you're going to be meeting a per person at a concert. With cock block, somebody was definitely trying to cock block this, though. They didn't want this to happen. Somebody could be, like, meeting a celebrity at a concert or something, and that all they see is you. But it's somebody that you could be meeting, like, unexpectedly on a night out or something with tracking device. Somebody could try to put a tracking device on you. Your dreams are trying to convey a message to you um, to reveal something. Yeah, definitely speaking to a group of earth angels. This is a water sign that's coming towards you. So now, so far, we have earth, water, and fire. Um, so you got a fire sign, a water sign, or earth sign coming towards you with chaser. And these are these are people who are full-on prepared to chase you now. They're going to be chasing you. It says, I want to get my better judgment with you and get karma for not listening. Wow. So again, whoever this person is who, like, going to be putting somebody in their place about you or that switched up or, like, I don't know if they turned their back on you or whatever the case may be. This is the person who I feel like who has always been in love with y'all. I ain't saying this person went to the furthest depths to, like, betray you or anything like that. But this person went against their better judgment. They could have listened to somebody who was trying to, like, again, maybe this is why they're going to be like, no, this person actually not like that. This person, I'm watching, and this person actually got their own motion. They got money. They don't use people for money. It's like somebody was trying to make it seem like you were something you weren't or something like that. They were being a cock block out of jealousy. Um, and this person could have felt like you were their person or they felt like you were, I don't know. But then they went against their better judgment for not listening to you. That you're an earth angel. That's what they're seeing now. And then I'm feeling like they feel they feel foolish. This person feels like a goofy. And now they wanted to come in and chase you. Karmic family and friends. These were the motherfuckers that was lying to this person. Or you had karmic family and friends around you. Dropping them for you. Wow. Somebody finna be dropping their karmic family and friends for you. Wow. And this could have been who was in these people's ears trying to tell them, oh, no, this wouldn't be a good, that wouldn't be a good choice. That person wouldn't be a good investment. That person would do this to you. That person would, whole time, they was only telling this person that so that they would not come towards you to hold this person back. Because for some of you, I'm hearing this person, they told this person this so that they wouldn't come towards you because they wanted you for themselves. Now get a load of that. Or they wanted your person for themselves. They could have been trying to sway this person away from you because they wanted your person. Now, take what resonates, because it did say they want your man or woman. So, for others of you, like I said, this person is now realizing, like, damn, actually, these people were talking shit about this person because they wanted this. They knew that this was my counterpart, and they wanted my counterpart for themselves. We're looking for dirt on you. These people were looking for dirt on you, so they simply, this person wouldn't come towards you. And they were finding nothing, I'm hearing. They were finding nothing with the high priestess, literally, on point. On point. They were finding nothing. You're about to receive communication and clarity, it says, from this person. They're going to speak. They're going to open their mouth. Because closed mouths don't get fed. And they realizing that they want you bad. <laughs> coming to rescue you. What did I say? This person's going to come in and rescue you all. They're they going to come in. It says a celebrity or very influential person is watching you. What was I saying? Some of y'all could have a celebrity watching y'all. Oof. Because it was saying somebody got a lot of people watching them. And they're trying to keep it on the low. They don't want a lot of people knowing because they got people watching. Like this could be somebody who's very influential. They're in the public eye. They're a celebrity. Or they're very important in their own community or town or whatever. Getting a new job. You was talking about workplace drama and stuff at first too. So somebody's boss or you could be getting a new job and you, then this pops off or something. It's like, um, but stand up for yourself and stand your ground. Yeah, don't let nobody walk all over you or lie on you or try to like create false narratives about you or like that. Because it came on off that. It was talking about somebody being triggered or something. And I feel like somebody's triggered too because they're realizing somebody was lying on you or lying about you or they felt like they missed the opportunity because of something that was said about you or I don't know. Somebody could have been trying to, there was snake energies around this person that they're going to be cutting off to come towards you. And yes, when they come in, they're going to be like chasing or they're going to want to chase you. Um, it's, this person could be getting a new job or you, but you need to stand up for yourself, especially if this is in a workplace. It could have been a lot of drama because your boss wanted you or people in higher positions than you. They were giving you special treatment and wanted you and then everybody else was acting weird towards you. Like, what the fuck do that got to do with you? It says if you keep reacting to negativity and low vibrational energies, it's going to lower your vibe too. So, yeah, some of y'all just learning how to just let shit go. You're not letting everything trigger you the way it used to. You know that that's not doing nothing for you. But, yeah, you're going to stand your ground and stand up for yourself. But everything doesn't deserve your reaction or your energy. Again, you still going to get what's for you. Some of y'all, whether you want this person back or not, they are in love with you. 
they've never stopped being in love with you once you're a man or a woman like literally somebody was doing all of this because they wanted your person or they wanted you with spiritual upgrades and enhances so yeah It says you help to heal me. Thank you so much. And for some of y'all, y'all don't even know. As this person disconnected from you, or they could have even listened to what somebody has to say about you, or whatever. They sat back and they watched you the whole time with enchanted by your divine energy. Enchanted by um, Taylor Swift. I was enchanted to meet you. So somebody could, I don't know. Please, the, the lyrics is please don't fall in love with someone else. Please don't have somebody waiting for you. So somebody could feel like you, they don't want you to fall in love with somebody else while they're gone. They plan on coming back. They don't, they hoping that you don't have nobody else like waiting on you or like you're not in the middle of something already while they come back. Um, Cause you've helped this person to heal. Little do you know, you helped them to get out of karmic situations and cycles. I'm here with their karmic friends and families that was around them. that didn't want what was best for them, but they felt like they owed them something. They felt like they couldn't say no. You've helped this person. Dodge the bully. Yeah. Some of y'all, that, that, that ex of yours, you're dodging a bully. Boss, daddy, and mommy. Something about somebody's boss. Or they could be an entrepreneur. You could be. Y'all both could be. Tough. But somebody has always been like enchanted by your divine energy. And you helped this person to heal. Whether they, they told you this or not. And they sat back and they watched you. And this is how they know the truth about you now. And who you are. And they want to thank you for this. Wow, let me show you what real love is. This is what they're planning on doing when they come in with healer. You are this healer, and this person recognizes this in you. You've helped this person more than you know. And they're going to come in and tell you that. I'm hearing that song, I Was Gonna Get Right Back by Jay-Z. Um, I was going to, something's saying. Um, yeah. You, you don't throw away what we had just like that. Song is called Song Cry by Jay Z. He basically was saying, You don't throw away what we had just like that. I was just effing them girls. I was gonna get right back. They say you can't turn a bad girl good. But once a good girl's gone bad, she's gone forever. So somebody could be like, You want some good girl gone bad type shit, unapologetic shit, Rihanna. <laughs> so you know how after that shit, she went with like Chris Brown or whatever. She kind of switched her whole little vibe up her love. So somebody could feel like you're doing this, or once you disconnected, like you switched your whole, like you revamped yourself, reinvented yourself. But somebody feel like you just threw away what y'all had because maybe they were playing the field, they had many options, or they weren't treating you like the empress or emperor you were. I have a five percent battery, so we're gonna have to make this. It says, though I can't let you know it, pride won't let me show it. Pretend to be heroic, that's just want to grow it. But deep inside, a nigga so sick. Wow. I can't see him coming down my eyes, so I got to make the song cry. Somebody is like, maybe they don't cry or they don't, they, it's like they, they haven't cried in a while. This could be somebody who was emotionally unavailable at one point. But you see how you say, I got to make the song cry. I can't cry myself, so I'm going to put it into the, the music. Somebody could make music or they put something into their, their art. Somebody knows why you don't want to be around them no more, why you detached yourself, why you didn't want nothing to do with them. It says, watching Bonnie and Clyde pretending to be that S. Uh, so somebody could feel like they was like your Bonnie to your, the, the Clyde to your Bonnie or Bonnie to your Clyde, whatever. A nigga had very bad credit. You helped me to lease that whip. You helped me to get the keys to that V.6. So somebody felt like you helped them a lot. You helped them to heal. You put them on a new level. You could have left this person, but they, they feel like... um. Is this even a record? So it says, um, It says, that's your fault. How many times you forgiven me? How was I to know that you was playing sick of me? I know the way a nigga living was swag, but you don't get a nigga back like that. I'm a man with pride. You don't do S like that. You don't just pick up and leave and leave me sick like that. You don't throw away what we had just like that. I was effing them girls. I was going to get back right back. They say you can't turn a good girl bad, whatever. So you see, somebody thought that they was going to keep playing y'all energy or keep on, they had options and they were always going to get back back. Not over here you wasn't. You want to just come back over here like what do I look like? So some of y'all had to show somebody what it really was and what it ain't. And they felt like I was gonna get right back. Like I had, yeah, I had options. Yeah, I had whatever. I had, I would have whatever. But I was gonna, yeah, you finna get some money. Some of y'all finna get some money on. So somebody felt like um, they had options. If this shuts off, I'm gonna let it shut off because. If I, but they was gonna get right back. That's how they feel. Y'all got a lot going on. Y'all got a water sign watching y'all. 
Damn, I want to go there. So ground yourself. So somebody could be going through some type of spiritual psychosis. It was saying somebody needs to stop watching all these goddamn readings. Um, I love you. Somebody could definitely, and it could be the karmic. Like, she needs to chill out. But this person still loves you. They still gonna love you. Um, and they were saying they gonna get right back. And yes, they could have had like options. I ain't gonna lie. With this person who had all them options, that really could be the karmic though. But it don't have to be. It could be the person who want to come back around and still got feelings for you. But I don't know. It could be the karmic because it says narcissist mirroring the empath. Yeah, somebody could have had a loss of a child. This this showed us this a couple times in this reading. I kept trying. I didn't really want to speak on that, but somebody needs to hear that. And I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, I heard something about a spirit baby or a rainbow baby or something like that is significant. So you could be trying trying again, but you I do feel like it's going to be successful the next time. But yeah, sorry for your loss. I feel like really source wanted me to speak on that for sure. Yeah, now that sacral chakra is coming out, you're healing your womb space, especially if you lost a child. Um, could have been a miscarriage. You could have lost a child when it was already here, but uh, you it's still womb space. That child came from the womb. It's always going to be a connected a connection within your womb and that child. So yeah, something about healing like this sacred sexual energy or your sex wounds, sexual traumas, that womb space, womb wounds, womb wounds, um, are very very important in healing. So somebody could have wanted your purpose, wanted your person. And they did a lot of bullshit because you intimidated them. Whoever this person that was trying to cock block your blessings or your person from coming in towards you with throat chakra. Like they could have did a lot of talking shit because they felt like they weren't enough. I'm not enough for you. Or this person just was doing a lot of shit, putting you in third parties or whatever. It, it was a setup. From Yeah, this is this was trying to set you up for like failure with homicide here. Oh my God. Somebody could be trying to like plan a homicide. Oh my God. Somebody could be getting caught for that. Like somebody didn't even know like the feds was watching or the, they're going to get caught for something because something was a setup with, it was a setup and homicide coming out. That ain't no coincidence. If somebody could have felt like they weren't enough for you and they was going to try to like take you out your glory because this person felt like you was going to move forward and like meet somebody new with extra trigger. Like that was the first part. Somebody's really need to go get some mental help. I was feeling that. Um, so God will make a way when there is no way. So have faith. So somebody could have known that you were going out into branching out into something different, going towards a new with protected. You were too protected. So if somebody was trying to hurt you or there was like a homicide involved in the situation, there's a case or something. Somebody's going to be going down for that because you're protected. You're too protected. And this is what somebody upset stalker. I, I'm not lying when I say somebody could have been trying to set you up. Like they had a plan to try to hurt you. This upset stalker, but you're literally too protected. It says be yourself and step into your power. Like you're stepping into your true power. And this is what was triggering this person or these people when they were trying to team up or concoct a plan to hurt an earth angel. Oh, wow. And that's why this other person, like I'm, that's why they're coming out so protective and possessive because they could know a little something. That's why I say it's coming in to rescue you, um, wanting to snatch you out that toxic relationship. Somebody could know this person or know what was going on with you. And I um, don't And they want to protect you, but you're very protected by the divine as well. Somebody was lying to their friends and family about you. And sources saying you're going to have to let something go to obtain this next blessing level person. And whoever was doing this against you, they're slow. Excuse my language, but they have a low IQ. They're not even intelligent. And this is why they thought that they were going to get away with it. With slow progress. The source is like, you ain't mean for saying it because we're going to say it in another way. They, they have very slow progress up here. <laughs> it take them a long time to read one little... <laughs> if, if somebody here is just not bright i'll just say that because you see source is very funny source is like no you you was you hit it right on the head boo <laughs> ace of wands like i got a new beginning coming in so you're a leader and this is why you've been set apart separation equals preparation and you have always been a leader and this is why everybody be having a mouth on you people gonna talk whether you doing bad or good baby okay people gonna always have something to say and these people gonna be struggling financially while you're receiving this ace of wands a new beginning yeah, it says people are noticing and seeing how conniving and calculating they are. So somebody was being very calculating when it comes to you and very conniving. But people, whoever this person that's going to put them in their place or people putting them in their place when it comes to you, or people just see the truth about them. Let nothing stop you from following your dreams and persevering. But yeah, somebody's seeing through to somebody and how calculating they are. Like somebody could even wanted to hurt you, like I said, and they was trying to pretend like everything was cool. Like this was a snake. And I'm getting like people see this person for who they are. People do. So don't worry about anybody trying to like make it seem like you were the problem. And you weren't. Something about a pregnancy is definitely significant for somebody. Um, somebody was doing a lot to try to get you in trouble, like to try to get some dirt on you or something. But you're really meant to live like a lavish lifestyle. You're not meant to. 
It says uh, new career moves are being made with you're about to live a lavish lifestyle. So yeah, it's like whatever this person was looking for, they're actually gonna watch you go into a, a a different lifestyle before their eyes. Take that next step and don't worry about the numbers. Yeah, don't worry about the support or numbers. Just take the next step because it's gonna work out for you. I'm here. It's gonna pay off. Like it's really gonna pay off. And you dodged the bullet with whoever that was from your past. Like I'm here. Like for some of y'all, literally, with this with this energy coming out. You need to really realize why Taurus was trying to get you away from somebody because this person had a plan for the man and it wasn't a good one. Like, okay? Not the man upstairs. The one downstairs. Okay? And whoever these... I feel like if, if it was a third party in a situation or somebody put you in a third party, they're all struggling financially. The karmic too was a third party too. Um, and we do have initials D, E, X, Y, Z. So your person that's coming towards you or you could have these initials or somebody involved. Again, we got D, E, X, Y, Z. Let's see what that is. Somebody could be a salesperson. You could have a pet. I feel like your, your pet is protecting you from low vibrational energies. Doing a lot of shadow work too. Yeah, you're coming into this wheel of fortune. So whatever somebody was doing against you, um, it was a spiritual offense to the divine, it says. It upset the divine. That's why they're getting karma. You're coming into new sponsorships, collaborations, contracts, networks, opportunities, deals. Like somebody finna be put on a whole new level. And again, with that boss like mommy, boss mommy, boss daddy, like you could be going into entrepreneurship, boss like energy, or meeting a boss who wants to like put you in a new level, give you an opportunity or something like that. New collaborations, people watching your page who want to network with you and collaborate with you who you may not even know. Mm. Mm. Yeah. New doors opening up for you. I'm hearing blessings on blessings. And you were meant for this. So you're going to be shutting people up. You're going to be having people eating their words. Somebody needs to take a spiritual bath on here. Somebody wanted your purpose. Literally, it says that air sign is watching you. An air sign could have wanted your purpose. You could be this air. Mm, no, an air sign watching you. So, an air sign definitely could have wanted your purpose. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Karmic masculine. Definitely could be a karmic Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who wanted your purpose, who is watching you. They wanted to be seen in a light that you're seen in because you're on a pedestal. Um, your experience at rebirth, it says here, transformation, renewal, redemption. Literally. This would be their downfall that they don't see coming. So, whoever was trying to go up against you, they don't even see that this is going to be their own downfall. This is attracted to you, but your high vibration keeps them away like repellent. Whoever these people are that want to come towards you, but they're not on the right vibration. They aren't on the same timing. They don't got the right intentions for you. Your light, your vibration is repelling them. They can't come towards you. They know they're not on the same time of timing as you. They're not as healed as you. They're not as loving as you. And you're going through a rebirth here too. So people are going to be seeing this. People know that they're not ready for you. And it says a doppelganger wants to be you. Y'all got a doppelganger out here who wants to be you, a copycat. Blame game energy. Like this person don't take accountability. Somebody really wants to be you and they can't stop watching you with karmic feminine. <laughs> so we got the karmic mass and karmic feminine. This could be a karmic couple, but you got a karmic feminine who is like your doppelganger or they want to be. They don't look shit like you. I don't mean in that way. When you talking about no Elena and Catherine shit, we talking about somebody who doing everything you do, but in ugly, <laughs> but in karmic. <laughs> so this is not somebody yeah, on social media. They watch your social media a lot and they try to like shady lady. This is a shady person. They could shade you a lot, but the whole time this bitch wants to be you literally copycat wants to be you literally. And they could shade you a lot suspicious very tacky and very uh shady and can't be trusted it says so yeah and this bitch can't be trusted it's karmic masculine and feminine they're all gonna be getting karma as they watch you be blessed okay i don't know somebody could definitely have lost like a child or something i'm so sorry to hear that i'm trying to hurry up though because i know this is gonna be yeah but you're going through a metamorphosis a change and people are still holding on to you try to do spell work towards your beauty i know who that is that's that air sign for some of y'all like she was trying to do spell work to like affect your beauty and it's, yeah, so some of y'all are being told to walk away from a karmic situation. It was only filled with illusions. Somebody could have told somebody false information on you. Could have been like a reader again. That's coming out. So I feel like whoever this person is, they're going to be getting some type of clarity with you. And they're going to be cutting ties. Cutting ties with karmics. And this could be you as well. Um, to come towards their person. Or come towards the one that they have, they've they been having their eye on. Yeah, some of y'all going to be fed up taking yourself more serious. You ain't taking somebody back this time with the Ace of Swords. Like, or people, you, you cutting people off and literally standing on it. Mm, stamp it, I'm here. Sowing yourself more self-love is going to put you in a new energy bracket and open new doors for you. Um, but it's, it's going to come with you cutting some people off too. Somebody says, um, it's a past life karmic. It's a past life karmic that has been watching some of y'all trying to finish their past life assignment on your life. And this is why they're so obsessed with you and they don't know why. You don't know why. But it's because it's... This is a past life karmic who, in a past life, they've done something similar to you and maybe they succeeded or maybe they didn't. But now they're just obsessed with succeeding. They don't know why. They're just so obsessed with you. Cardi B, get up 10 with financial stability. You finna be a success story. Literally, rags to riches. Literally. Go listen to the lyrics of get up 10. Like somebody, because I saw the exotic dancer card too, but I don't, 
I don't think I said it. Um, yeah, somebody finna be like a, a success story. I feel like it's finna shut off really soon. It came out, and this is the cards that I've already pulled during this reading with that exotic dancer. I just skipped over it. I didn't say it because it came out with like loss of a child. I didn't feel like those two coincided. I was like, I don't know. But somebody who could have lost a child, you could be an exotic dancer. Excuse me. And maybe I should have read it, but sorry, source, for not reading that card. But yeah, somebody could be an exotic dancer or you do like, you dance for, you just like to dance. Maybe you just like me, you just got a pole in your house and you just practice on it. But yeah, somebody here, you're going to be having a lot of, like, well, I only say that because Cardi was an exotic dancer as well. So that probably was, that was meant to come out, obviously. Um, but yeah, you're going to be a success story. You have humble stars and it's going to lead you towards a lot of financial stability, okay? And it could be leading you also towards this new lover that's coming in for you. But I'm going to stop the reading there. Like, share, and subscribe. Truly do hope this gave y'all the message that you were needing or whatever. This is going to be a rise to come over. This is going to be a rise to go. I'm only speaking fast because I know I got like maybe a good 2 1%. So yeah, financial stability is going to be yours. Money won't be an issue pretty soon. This is setting you up, so... I wouldn't, I wouldn't too much worry about what any karmas have to say. Somebody do want to love you. They're coming in, but they could be a little guarded. They could be a little guarded at first or you. So just keep an open mind um, about what this may look like or who it could be. Uh, I'm going to take, take it with the Ace of Pentacles and Root Chakra coming out. Like somebody going to be very stable and grounded. Ground yourself because the money, you won't have to worry about instability. The more being like uh, unstable financially or not having a secure sense of like stability or income like baby you won't be living paycheck to paycheck with this root chakra and ace of pentacles you won't feel sort of safe in your root chakra because what causes the instability is like fear or possibly being in a fight or flight mode type of energy or not having a secure like place to stay or a place to lay your head at night like somebody that's not gonna be an issue no more like it's giving like real life like money generational wealth vibes and that's what you're manifesting like share and subscribe i love you guys